Hello again. So now I want to take the opportunity to talk with you guys a little bit about how we have used the Chison Sonobook 9 here at the Nest OKC Mobile Ultrasound and to be able to show you guys some of the diagnostic quality images that we've been able to produce. Um, I'm also going to share some interesting cases that we've come across over the last several years. And then we're going to go in and take a look at that virtual HD technology. I'm going to show you guys some images. Um, we're going to have one of our local moms here in Oklahoma City come stop by and we're going to quickly scan her little sweet baby boy. And then I'm going to take that opportunity to show you guys that virtual HD software as well as some of the optimization features that come along with that virtual HD software um, that allow us to really get amazing quality images um, using this portable ultrasound machine. So I'm going to go ahead and start off by showing you guys some of those diagnostic uh, images that we have been able to produce. So most people think that all we do in OBGYN ultrasound are get pretty little pictures and video clips of babies yawning, playing with their tongues, sticking their tongues out, just like this sweet little one. <laughs> Or this baby literally looks like it's chewing on a hamburger or something. Um, but you know, we we all understand that the real um, benefit of this of this technology comes on the diagnostic side of things. Um, so here we have a four chamber view of baby's heart. Um, we can see an echogenic area within that right ventricular um, wall. And um, this baby has gone on to um, maternal fetal medicine um, for follow-up regarding this. Um, we also can see here um, on the fetal brain, um, looking transverse through that brain, we've got two very large choroid plexus cysts um, that we can see bilateral, both measured um, over a centimeter each. And here we can see scanning through in the coronal view. Um, this mom went on to have some uh, blood work done and thankfully everything came back um, negative. Um, there were no incidences of aneuploidies or anything um, along that nature. The next case I wanna show you guys is one of those cases where mama kinda knows best. Um, this sweet mom, um, had already been through uh, quite a bit. She had a previous pregnancy loss that we followed her through, um, got pregnant again, but just really didn't feel like things were right. And so she talked with her provider. She came in to see us. Um, here we can see starting to scan transabdominal. We can see a gestational sac, um, and we're seeing some hemorrhage um, around the outside of that sac. So we already knew that we were gonna need to take um, a look transvaginal, especially when we started looking out towards the left adnexa here. Um, things were a little bit worrisome. Um, so from here, we went ahead and checked on baby really quick transabdominally. Um, here we can see uh, the little bitty fetal pole um, with that little flicker of a heartbeat there. So we moved on to transvaginal. Again, we can see the fetal pole and um, little heartbeat there. And this is scanning superior to inferior um, through that uterus. And we can see again, lots of hemorrhage um, around that gestational sac. Um, and from here, obviously we went ahead and did some measurements on the baby. Um, figured out where we were at. This baby was measuring about six weeks one day. Um, and now we knew we needed to check out in that left adnexa and see if we could really figure out what was going on, what we were seeing transabdominally. So here we can see scanning superior to inferior again through that left adnexa. Um, we can see the left ovary and then a very angry fallopian tube. And here we can see a live ectopic pregnancy that has implanted within that left fallopian tube. Um, so again, you can see scanning through, we'll see the ovary um, fallopian tube with blood and debris, and then that bright echogenic ring um, from that decidual reaction 
and then that little fetal pole with that heartbeat. Um, and again, we can see here with the color flow Doppler um, showing that little heartbeat on that fetal pole. Um, you can see the difference between that beat um, in comparison to the maternal um, heart rate. So in some cases, we probably could have gotten some better imaging um, on some of these pictures, but obviously we did not want to use too much probe pressure in this situation. Um, but we can see that ovary. We can see the ectopic. We knew what we were dealing with, and we knew that we needed to get this mama taken care of. So here we can see um, the heterotopic, live heterotopic pregnancy that we were dealing with, one intrauterine pregnancy, one ectopic pregnancy. Um, I can thankfully report that this mom went on to same day emergency surgery. Um, the left fallopian tube and ectopic were removed. Um, I actually was able to get follow up from the physician that it was very close to rupture at the time that they were able to go in, but they could save the intrauterine pregnancy. And we have been able to follow up on this mom. And that little bitty fetal pole has now grown into a sweet little baby girl and um, mom and baby are both doing well so far and um, here we can see her sweet little profile picture. Um, so the fact that we were able to get such clear diagnostic quality imaging um, on a six week one day heterotopic pregnancy um, I really think speaks volumes to um, the quality imaging that we're, we're able to get with this machine. Um, so obviously, again, the diagnostic side is top notch on this machine, but the fact that they can pair that with um, virtual HD 4D technology is really neat. And it, again, it's really kind of a game changer for um, the OBGYN field. So now I want to be able to show you guys um, a few of my virtual HD images um, so that you guys can see the clarity and detail um, <laughs> that we are able to get on these sweet little babies um, from fingers and nose, um, lips to, oh my goodness, look at those cheeks. <laughs> the sweet little baby with that little side smirk. Um, it's so much fun getting to do um, these ultrasounds and allowing families the opportunity to get a glimpse into the little life that's going to be joining them um, and showing them just fun things like this. I mean, baby sucking its thumb. Um, but one of my favorite things that I get to do um, when patients uh, decide to share is doing comparison pictures. Um, this is actually a pretty special comparison picture for me because this is actually my youngest son. Um, on the left is his virtual HD ultrasound picture that I took of him. And then on the right is comparing to his newborn photo. So it's really neat to be able to do those comparisons and show that's not just any baby, that's my baby. So now we're going to bring in one of our local moms and do a quick virtual HD session for her. All right, so here we have a super sweet little 27 week baby boy that we are taking a quick look at. So we've just gotten a 4D virtual HD image of him looking at his sweet little nose and sweet little lips here. You can see that we've got a little bit of placenta and arms and everything else around his sweet little face. But some of my favorite things about this particular machine is that I get the opportunity to edit a lot of that away. So using our XYZ axis, I can turn baby whatever way I need to to figure out how and where I can edit some of these different things out of the way. And I always like to use this polygon in option here. And it's almost like Photoshop for ultrasound. I can get this big old mess of the top of the uterus out of the way. Turn him back here. And it just helps us to focus on his face a lot more. I'm going to turn here a little bit more. We can edit from the opposite side here. This is some of the placenta that he was snuggled up against. So I can outline all of that, get rid of that. And then we're just left with a super sweet picture 
of that little baby boy. He's got his little arm, little hand right up there over his sweet little nose. Look at the look at the detail on his lip. You can even see the little divot there in the top of his lip. So cute. Another favorite feature is the virtual light that we get with the virtual HD technology. So if I want to turn this baby this way, one way or the other, I will always be able to have a light that I can follow him with to highlight some of those sweet little features. So if I take my light, which we see here, and if that light was over here, you're getting all that shading along the little side of his face and underneath his little chin. We can do kind of right on his little face, right straight in. But a lot of times if we have that, we kind of lose a lot of that definition um, on the nose and the lips area. So having this virtual light that I can literally angle up here a little bit, just like a photographer does. You always have to have perfect lighting for perfect pictures. So this allows me to move that light just right to where we get a little bit of shadow on his nose, a little bit of shadow on those lips while still keeping the integrity of the image and bringing out those sweet little features. So here we did kind of a screenshot video and basically what you're looking at here is what most of us sonographers end up getting as soon as we put that probe down. There's hardly ever a baby that's just in perfect position right off the bat. We usually have to work at it a little bit. So this little baby's face was right up against the edge of the uterus here. But again, using these uh, different optimization um, aspects of the software, uh, we can totally edit away anything that we don't want there. So here I love using that change button that's on the keyboard um, and the polygon in feature that allows us to outline everything within a particular plane of view and edit it out of the picture. So we were able to take that front part of the uterus out from in front of baby's face. Here we're going to outline around baby's shoulder and get rid of the placenta that baby was snuggled up against on that side. And then as you can see, there's still a little bit of that uterus that was left right there in front of baby's face. So again, using those X, Y, Z axes, we can turn baby and carefully see where um, those facial features end and begin um, to know where we can edit that extra part out. And then what you're left with when you turn that baby back is just a beautiful detailed picture um, of that sweet fetal face. Um, and again, we love that virtual light feature um, that we can move around helps us to um, bring out all of those different features by shading certain aspects and I mean, my goodness, you get this perfect picture that we can turn 180 degrees from profile to frontal picture to opposite profile and give these families um, this great image to, uh, to take home and share with their families and start um, introducing their families to the baby that's going to be meeting um, their family soon. Um, so from here, basically, I just went back and kind of showed in quick um, fashion basically what we did. So where we started and again with a little bit of time um, editing which once you get used to the machine it's no time at all and then you end up with an amazing um, picture to send home with that family. So as you guys can see we really have been able to achieve some absolutely amazing detailed um, virtual HD images um, with the Sonobook 9. Um, our business has, has really benefited from having um, such an amazing mobile solution. We've actually been voted for the last three years in a row ever since we, we opened um, as the best imaging center in our area um, from two different sources. Um, so we've, we've really been thankful um, for Chison um, making such an amazing product and we have enjoyed it every step of the way. Um, the, the software, the uh, optimization capabilities, the diagnostic quality, the contrast resolution um, that we can get from, from all of the probes that we have used um, really have been 
um, just top notch. And I really do feel like that this could be a, a great benefit to, to any hospital or clinic, um, OBGYN office or imaging center. Um, having such a portable solution um, really is nice for, for that patient satisfaction. Um, those instances where you do need to kind of go bedside um, to, to take care of your patients in the best way possible um, while not having to sacrifice um, quality in that scan, um, I really think is very beneficial. Um, so again, thank you guys so much for um, inviting me to talk a little bit about um, the Chison Sona Book 9 and our experience with it. Um, it has been an amazing three years uh, learning and loving this machine. And um, I'm always happy to, um, to talk with anybody about uh, the Sona Book 9 um, and how they could possibly use it um, in your own clinic or hospital um, or imaging center. And feel free to reach out. Um, you can email me at the nest okc 4 d at gmail.com. Um, we're also on Facebook and um, website. Um, so feel free to reach out. Um, I'm always happy to answer any questions regarding this machine, um, how we have used it, and how you may be able to um, implement it um, in your own setting. So again, thank you guys so much for um, inviting me to be a part of this series.